Today I'm going to share with you my favorite way to carry a gun because I carry daily. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer, a New York Times bestselling author, and I own 320 acres here in Utah called Spy Ranch. So I've trained thousands of people over the years on firearms, pistol, rifle classes. And because I live in the state of Utah, which is a free state, I carry concealed daily. I'm going to show you my favorite way to carry exactly how I do it. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Hi, Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. Now, there's a wonderful firearms instructor out there. Uh, great guy, does a fantastic job, and he has a saying that goes something along the lines of, hey, carrying a gun should be comforting, not comfortable. Sounds great in theory, but it's not true because as I said, I've trained thousands of people and if it's not comfortable, people are not gonna carry it. I know this. If somebody's got a uh, gun digging into their appendix, digging into their hip, they're not gonna carry it. Again, I've seen it happen over and over again, so it has to be comfortable. That's what the average person is gonna do and obviously we wanna have a gun on them and not sitting at home in their nightstand. Before I show you exactly how I carry, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification bell uh, so you can get more videos from me. But anyways, my favorite way to carry a gun and how I carry daily is pocket carry and my front right pocket. So I'm a gun junkie, I own all kinds of guns and when I'm up in the mountains, when I'm at our ranch, you know, a lot of times I'll have a 1911 on my hip. Springfield 1911 is the one uh, that I'm carrying most often these days. But the vast majority of the time, when I'm just running errands in town, when I'm going to Walmart, when I'm going to, well, I'll say the post office, but can't carry a gun in the post office. Uh, when I'm going someplace, grocery shopping, whatever it might be, I am carrying in my front right pocket. It is comfortable. It's easy to do. I always wear cargo pants. I'm going to step back here in a minute so you can see exactly how I do it. And then a gun I carry is a Sig Sauer P365. So let me step back here. Let me see how we're gonna, ah, we'll stand up and hopefully, I, okay. So I realize you can't see my head. Here's the gun. When I go out and draw, come out quickly, the gun is gonna come out like this, right? Here's the Sig Sauer P365. Now, the very important thing to remember is you have to choose the right holster. If this gun, comes out with a holster, it's not gonna do you much good, that slows you down. I'll show you the holster in a second, but as far as the six hour P365, the reason I carry it, the reason I like it, is guns these size have come a long way. The Ruger LCP back in the day, one of the first pocket guns, did a great job for what it was at the time, but had horrible sights, you know, it was a close quarters type of gun. If you were shooting from 25 yards out, it wasn't the easiest shot. Whereas in this gun, piece of cake with 25 yards, it's got good sights, it has uh, night sights, got a good smooth trigger. So awesome gun for a concealed carry. That's why I carry it. You know, I like it, it works. That's the whole point is it uh, holds plenty of rounds. It's not super heavy. It's not like a boat anchor in my pants. So that's why I can do it. Now, as far as the holster that I mentioned, the problem with the vast majority of pocket holsters, cause I purchased them all. I have that, well, I'll say proverbial box, but I have a literal box of holsters in my basement that is just, it's sitting there of all the holsters I've tried over the years or companies have sent me to test over the years and they just don't work. So this holster works and the reason is, let me put this gun down right here. The reason is it has this little hook coming out. It has this hook here. So most holsters, when you draw out of your pocket, you're gonna end up, you're gonna end up like this, meaning you draw out of your pocket and the gun is in the holster coming with it because it doesn't leave the holster in the pocket. But this one here with the hook, it works, it does the job. So there's a ton of Kydex holsters out there. All you gotta do is go on the internet and do a search for Kydex pocket holsters. You'll find some, but if it doesn't have some kind of hooking mechanism on it, do not buy it because it will come out. Again, I've had companies send these to me for review, for tests, and every time I draw them, they come out. Unless you're wearing some kind of skinny jeans, and I do not wear skinny jeans. I've always got a nice, comfortable pair of cargo pants. And so that's why you gotta have a good holster that's gonna stay with it. Obviously, when it comes to pocket carry, you wanna practice. So with a safe and empty weapon, this gun, let's check it again, even though I already checked it. With a safe and empty weapon, you're gonna practice dry firing, meaning you're gonna draw out of your pocket, you're gonna punch out, you're gonna line up the sights. I happen to be uh, left eye dominant, so that's why you see me closing my right eye. So I'm left eye dominant, right handed, doesn't matter, you can still shoot fine. If any instructor tells you that, oh, you need to keep two eyes open, or you know, you're never gonna be, it's all nonsense. If you're right-handed and left eye dominant, you're still gonna have no problem coming out, being an accurate shot, taking care of business if need be. 
So don't worry about that. I know what I did want to tell you is second gun that I also like, because some people say to me, hey, Jason, I'm not a huge fan of semi-automatics. I am not comfortable with semi-autos. You know, I don't want to have to learn how to clear the malfunctions. I don't want to have to tap and rack, any of that. So even though this is what I like, um, if for some reason you want to go with a revolver, obviously okay, nothing wrong with that. One of my favorite revolvers for pocket carry is this bad boy here. This is the Smith & Wesson Chief Special. Great gun, been around since, what was it, 1951, 50 something, I don't know. Fantastic gun. Also, when you're buying a holster for this gun, same thing, make sure it stays in there, make sure it's got some kind of hook. Make sure it's not going to come out with a gun. You, this has the exposed hammer. It doesn't really matter to me, but you can buy ones that are hammerless. Uh, those are also good. When you're buying revolvers, I always like Smith & Wesson and Ruger. Those are quality. Never let me down. Never had a problem. So get a good old snubby revolver if you decide that a semi-auto isn't right for you. Of course, the only real downside is you have less rounds, whereas I can carry 12 in that bad boy. This is a five-shot revolver. But if this is all you're going to carry, it's better than you know having nothing at all. So... When it comes to pocket carry, you also wanna practice in a vehicle. What I mean is you've gotta make sure you can reach into your pocket. So go into your vehicle, in your garage, I would not do this in a parking lot or other people can see, and with a safe and empty weapon, practice in your garage, practice coming out, making sure you can draw, make sure you can access the gun, the holster stays in the pocket and all that. So that is my quick overview of pocket carry. I recommend it, I like it, it's comfortable, do it. Also. This gun, because I don't carry it that often, is one of the guns stashed around my house. I highly recommend having guns stashed around your house. I've got six kids, so all of my guns are stashed in rapid access safes. Many again just go boop, push a button, they pop open in three seconds or less. And I have guns on every level of my house because what happens if somebody breaks into my house and I'm in my basement and the only gun I have is upstairs in my master bedroom, that's a long way to go, which is why I have guns stashed in my basement. If you wanna learn how to stash guns, if you wanna know how to hide them the right way, if you wanna know the spy secrets of hiding guns, make sure and get a free copy of my book today. It shows you how to legally hide guns everywhere. It's free, go to spieshideguns.com if you wanna grab your copy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope you learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that notification, and have a wonderful day.